Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Um, so today I wanted to talk about a few things. I have had some inspiration this morning about a few topics that I wanted to look into. Um, I just want to start by saying that it's been harder and harder for me to kind of tune in and in here. I mean, I'm really grateful and happy to have this community to be here with all of you and having this space. I think it's such a joy and a blessing. But I've also found it harder to express my truth or to see myself as having value, you know, and I feel like that's something that we all go through and I and it's you know, there's just so much information out there, so much refined, um, uh, let's say, influencers or um, psychics, readers, um, spiritual teachers and leaders out there. And I just feel like um, sometimes I don't really see myself kind of being here and being good enough or like like all of this is already being said, it's already been talked about, and why should I, you know, add my spin on it? Like I have, I'm having a hard time with that. When, you know, before I would just go and express myself, and I I would feel that I had lots of value in what I what I said, what I would say, what I would share. And these days, it's getting like. I feel it's harder for me to feel that I have value and okay I didn't think I was gonna get emotional <laughs> on this video but yeah I've been feeling that way and it's a moment here I really did not expect getting emotional <laughs> And I've been trying to refine my work. I've been trying to refine myself because I have this like deep passion and mission to help, to be of service, to, you know, assist in, in people's spiritual journeys and awakening and and there's just a lot to that that is kind of hard to pass through. I just feel like there is so much spiritual bullshit out there and I just don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to, like, I feel like I have something to say that is maybe bigger than just um, than what I had, what I would, you know, what I previously thought of. And I'm, you know, beginning to refine and concentrate my energy a lot more and understanding more of like what my mission is and what I'm here to provide as a service. And I'm just trying to... find my place you know in in this whole scenario that is happening on earth and so yeah it's been harder for me to share spontaneously and be myself and I feel like that's a part of like my some wounds that I have like some childhood wounds and how um, I'm not allowing myself to be myself and that's something that I wanted to talk about as well I wanted to um, mention you know inner child work and how being yourself is really the you know the center of, of, of it all being yourself is part of the gift that you get to share in this world it's not necessarily about like always about the message and the greater mission 
but it's more about like just sharing in your own way, sharing with your own energy. And that's what I'm trying to find a flow with, find a flow with myself and seeing how um, my my gifts and my medicine, I mean, my whole channel is about Jessica's mystic medicine and I'm trying to share the medicine that I am, that I have and my perspective and it's like hard to sorry <laughs> it's hard to see myself having my perspective having value like I feel like I want to bring transformation I want to help people and I feel like if I'm not doing that then I'm not really succeeding at what I'm doing but like at the same time it's really just about sharing your perspective and about being yourself and having this kind of connection with the world and connection with others and um, seeing all the sides of of the um, fractal seeing seeing all the sides of the, all the angles and how we can broaden our perspective and um, illuminate, shine more light in, you know, in any situation, I guess, in, in what's happening. And I just feel like, yeah, it's been hard to feel that. And it's it's like, it's strange that it feels that way because... I've, I also feel that I've been working a lot more on myself and feeling a lot more secure in who that who I am as a person, but I don't feel like it really shows as much as how I used to be and share when I wasn't so you know secure and strong in myself. I would I would be a lot more spontaneous. I would be a lot more um, adventurous, and now I just feel like. I'm, it's just, um, yeah, a bit of a blank in, in, in my creativity and in finding joy because I guess I've gotten so serious about my work and my spiritual efforts to, just to grow and I've gotten so serious about it, which is like, important but at the same time I've kind of lost the joy of exploring and sharing and having fun and I don't know why this is coming through and so yeah I'm just going to be with this for a moment and see what else comes up Because I'm not sure where this grief is coming from. I think it's, I guess it's coming from this um, need to, need for perfection. Like perfectionism and how it's so intense. It's so um, prevalent in social media and in even in the spiritual uh, communities and this in the spiritual, um, yeah, the spiritual community. There's this like, I don't know, like this energy of of perfectionism and of needing to be clear and needing to be, you know, to have all our psychic gifts turned on and be these, these perfect, I don't even know, you know, what it really is, but I feel that that's what it is. There's no more like exploration and... And there's and this is what I've been connecting into that our limitations, our struggles, our blockages and the things that we're working through 
as human beings are actually part of a greater order, a, a part of a greater understanding, like a greater function of our purpose here and our mission. And it really provides a lot of um, steps. It provides a lot of um, meaning. It provides a, um, a lot of um, like a path it provides a path for us and the need to constantly want to clear things out to heal to be perfect be better be better like yes there is a, a healthy side to want to elevate and expand but um i think we're going at it kind of the wrong way where we're we're kind of wanting to purify ourselves so much that we're, we we lose our personality. We lose our personality and we lose um, our path because, you know, we can become these ultimate amazing um, light sources, you know, or like I'm just seeing this as like just being light. Like how boring is that just being light? Like just being light and being pure and being like um, un, un, um, unbothered by anything you don't really want to there's nothing happening there's just nothing happening and it, it just strips away our personality I don't, and I'm not sure that that's really what we want I'm not sure if that's really healthy I mean there is this aspect of connecting with you know the clearing doing clearings and really doing our internal work work to um to clear out like negative ego or to you know it depends where you are and this is another thing that's coming through that I wanted to talk about really strongly is that whatever it is that our heart desires or what we're what we're here to do is perfectly in alignment with where we are at this time with our limitations with our blocks and everything because um, if we would receive the information of what we're asking or desiring or wanting to manifest or wanting to become if we receive the information just all at once just like that all at once it's it would we wouldn't be able to receive the information in the proper way so that we would be able to um, create that that momentum, that manifestation in the proper way. Sometimes, like most of the time, things come in slowly because it's like passing through the eye of the needle. There is a very, um, there is a precision to certain manifestations, to certain downloads of information, to certain um, emissions and things that we are meant to bring forth and birth, you know, and or become. There is a certain precision, and that precision, um, you, it cannot be given in one whole, one time, like at one, all one shot. Because then that it, we wouldn't be able to make sense of it first. We wouldn't be able to make sense of it or to birth it in any way. It would kind of just shatter us. It wouldn't be proper. So uh, that's how, what I feel a lot of us are trying to do. We're trying to just like eliminate all of the negativity or not that even the negativity, but we're trying to eliminate all of the... the, the the blocks and the limitations and the things that um, are slowing us down, let's say, the time to just receive and just, you know, we do want to be at one with our higher self, but there is this aspect of the sacred limitations. This is the sacred, like, way in which things trickle down. So as it's in, in, in using time and in, in the trickle and 
everything that's happening and the limitations and how s sometimes the slower it comes in, the be the more precise it becomes and the more we can acclimatize to that energy and the more we can grow with that energy and get the actual medicine from from that energy. So getting the actual medicine from that energy, we have to be fully ourselves, human selves, with our flaws and all, and respecting the flow of the energy and the rhythm of the energy, even though, you know, we feel like it takes time, we're restless, we're impatient. There is a greater um, order, a greater plan to why it needs to take this much time or why it needs to be in this way in the, with this rhythm because that is how it's it's going to come through um, the clearest the best and in, in in the best way possible and it's going to act it's actually protecting us from exploding this is what I would this is what I am was receiving how everything is kind of working in order and sometimes you know being afraid or um, sometimes the resistance or or the restlessness or the anxiety and all these things are kind of there for a reason that doesn't if to us it indicates failure it indicates somewhere where we're not good enough and that's such a fucked up concept because in the reality is that it's actually part of the process of the great plan of the importance of why it has to be this way and that it couldn't be any other way or else it wouldn't work you know as properly and that's something that really is really important to understand because it prov if if we don't understand that we're not able to honor who we are honor what we're meant for and just honor ourselves as as powerful beings and feel that we're connected to a greater force to the universe and that we're being guided actually and also so another part of this that's coming in, it's about joy. It's about how, you know, we're constantly trying to make it perfect, trying to make it perfect, and we forget about joy. And that is something that is dangerous. It is dangerous to always wanting to be perfect and forgetting about joy because joy is also something that can live inside you that can be bottled up and create anxiety like that's something that i really um experienced today was that joy can cause anxiety if you're you don't um tend to it the and the truth is that th this this world in its original form is like an infinite celebratory experience there's life is always celebrating itself and that energy of celebration is so high that if we if we if we would experience it in its full totality um we wouldn't be able to handle it handle it it would burn us because of the grief that we've been holding on and, and because of the it would burn us because it would kind of heal us so um, quickly and intensely that it would burn us and that's what I've been experiencing like we need to be constantly working with joy constantly working with it but not in a sense that um, we forget about the sacredness of our struggles and our and our grief and to play with the human side, the human experience that 
Yes, we have fear. Yes, we have resistance. Yes, we have anger, frustration. And that that is actually part of what makes us human and part of what makes us creators. And it's not a bad thing. Like it's not a negative thing. It's not an act of or a sign of failure or of sickness even. There is a, a side to that, but if you're feeling the energy of this transmission, you can feel and understand what I'm trying to say when I say that, that it's actually part of what makes us beautiful and what makes us able to um, have creativity and have experiences here and have fun. It's really about joy because we can just be light if we wanted to, but and that's another thing that we are here. So there's these two reasons why we're here. At first, I would always see like this one part, which is the mission. And I would be focused on the mission, the mission, the mission. Yes, we have a mission. Um, mission to, we, we're here to care. We're here to be of service for the elevation of the earth, for the elevation of our society, bringing ourselves back into a high society. And I'm here to help with that, with like being a, a, a light bearer, you know, telling, um, telling the truth, uncovering the truth and affirming the truth, like spirit, spiritual science, um, universal law and all these things and, and reconnecting ourselves with our spirituality. This is part of my mission. But I also connected to another part of why I'm here, which was something that I wasn't really seeing before fully and that is that my my higher self yes i'm here to bring the teachings of my higher self here the energy of my higher self here to um elevate you know the earth to elevate the frequencies with the um frequency of my higher self but also my higher self is using the experience that i'm having as a human being to et to learn and elevate itself as as my soul like your soul, my soul is learning from my human experience, from my personal personality and my desires, my ego, all of this, this experience of the sacred struggles. That is something that my higher self is that I am helping my higher self, like I'm helping my soul to become greater with with the experience of the human experience of um, developing my I, developing my identity, my developing my singular perspective as a human being, as a person who has free will, who has forgotten um, my past lives, who has, um, who can't see, um, you know, I have, I, I don't see energy with my eyes open, I don't hear, you know, I, I, I have some psychic gifts that are open and other psychic gifts that are more um, closed. And I always thought that that was something of a failure of mine or something of a weakness of mine or something that I needed to work on to, or that the, the, the purpose was to open them. And yes, there is a side of that that it's that is true i'm working on developing my psychic gifts but not to a point that i want to not you know that i want to be fully open and be this like i want to be the the best that i can be the best that a human being can be like i want you know this energy of like i want to have all my chakras open all my psychic abilities open like if my higher self would have wanted that, it would have chose that, and that would have been what I would be with. So there must be a higher intelligent reason why I have the abilities that I have and have less of the other abilities and why I had everything that I'm going through is, is a higher order and it... Your higher self chooses the experience that you're going to have here as a human being with certain things closed, certain things you struggle with more because of its wanting, its desire to want to learn about 
being that way and how it's learning so much about it and how like I have been trying to not be myself or or, or I've been thinking that that was something that was um, a dysfunction or something and so there is always a very specific reason why we have certain blocks, why we have certain struggles, because our actually our higher self is learning from that and our soul will will our soul will will have its own upgrade with that experience because it knows that that experience is exactly what it needs to get to a, a higher level in its its uh, s- a state of being and its spiritual initiation uh, in the cosmos. So I have to trust that. And that is why I get to be human. That is why I get to have fears and, and have fun with like trying things out and making it look silly or um, making mistakes or whatever. And it, it gives, it, it really allows me to feel a lot more freedom in anything that I do. And it invites me into more joy and into following my joy, doing things that are exciting and that are, that feel, that make me happy. And I, I always thought that like, no, I have to work. I have to be so um, strict with my, you know, practices. And I have this side of me that really wants to be a great student. Um, and the fact is that I am is because I am, you know, and it's because, you know, I, my soul has lived many different lives and I've, I'm a very ambitious soul, I guess. And the fact that I came here with, the fact that I came here and it seems like I have many limitations or blocks or things like that, that's something that, um, society has, wanting me to believe but in reality you know my soul has chosen to be this way because it thought it believed that it is the next best thing you know and that's like it sounds weird for my soul a soul that's like so ambitious and so um daring I have a very daring deep deep soul and I now live a very simple kind of life and and sometimes it's it's like it's it was hard to see the meaning in it all and i kind of felt a bit left out you know from the excitement of life but i'm realizing more and more that just being alive is exciting having issues and problems that even if they're little problems big problems it's exciting that there is a greater order to things and that playing and doing things that excite me and that and also working on the mission with more of a open heart and joy and not so much like um something that I kind of like this save the world complex more of a enjoy and and it's hard it's hard to feel like I can enjoy myself and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way it's hard for us to to on the one hand see all the work that we have to do you know as light workers as whatever just people that care and at the same time um accepting that we deserve joy or that that is mo- more important or that we're in a place in our lives where that's really something that um, is needed in I guess so yeah it's been and it's I really feel like joy has been bottled up inside me and it preventing me from explore things and have fun and I've just been so afraid of I'm not even sure what I've been afraid of failing of what people might think I don't know but I really feel like um a sense of relief and freedom and excitement and at the same time grief lots of grief from 
I guess from not allowing myself to feel this joy for so long, you know, and knowing that it was always available. That's something that like it just my heart can't handle it kind of thing. Like I'm just it takes time sometimes to acclimatize to an open heart, to acclimatize to a lighter state of of, of being. Um, because once you kind of reach this point in your life where you're like, oh, you're understanding things and you realize that you're, you were free all along and that you're loved and supported, um, there's a part of me that is like, I'm not sure, but it just that I've, I've struggled for so long. And, and I can kind of see the beauty of that struggle now. And I see how, how strong I was and I see how resilient I was and my, how my inner child was such a little, um, rebellious, you know, she just, and I'm so proud of her in this and 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 yeah and it's just like overwhelming overwhelming love for myself I guess to have gotten to this place where I can recognize my strength and yeah I just feel a lot more whole and it's hard it's hard to um it's hard to like acclimatize to to that kind of energy and to like everything seems different now the way that i express things the reason why i express things is different and the reason why I want to do things are come from a different place, you know? And so, and I also just really want to, I really want people to see this side of existing, of being alive, this side where of, um, of being in joy, of being in a place where you're in 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 a connection with your higher self where you're in a connection with your purpose when you're in a connection with with your flow with your own medicine with your own like wisdom your own path things become a lot more exciting and like i can actually allow myself to you know, watch silly shows or do things that are more earthly, more more like normal and not feel like I shouldn't be doing that. I, I know that sounds weird, but I'm actually able to be more human and see the beauty in that. And... It's nice to just not be judging myself constantly. And seeing the beauty of the human in me, the human in us. So, please leave a comment like you can subscribe if you'd like to but i would i would absolutely love to hear your comments on you know what you think about this you know how does that relate how does this information relate to you how do you feel about it i do crave community i crave um connection a lot more these days and i'm sure we all do 
So yeah, I've been really hard on myself for a while. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to, you know, just come, come full circle, come to the other side, and and I just want to be more available. And I'm really excited about certain things. You know, I've been working on a spiritual abundance kit, which will be available probably at the end of the month of June or in the middle. Um, and that's really exciting. It's like my offering to the world, my heart to the world, because I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm starting to get a lot more clear on my mission, my purpose, and I'm creating some courses um, with different levels of initiation. So right now I have five. The first one is is um, formatted as a course, but it's a spiritual abundance kit. It's filled with, you know, transmissions like this. Um, also, um, frequency attunements, which are like meditations infused with frequency medicine um, and ebooks. So that one's going to be about the basics of spiritual abundance, the basics of spiritual practice, spiritual work. And, and to me, it's like the basics of being a human being <laughs> with the knowledge of the truth. Um, so that's going to be free for everybody. It's going to be like an introduction to everything else that I'm working on. I'm working on a bunch of exciting things that are really clear, aligned, and structured with an intelligence that I'm just so excited. It's my legacy, my work, and I'm going to have fun with it. It has been something that's really been um, transmitted to me. I'm doing a lot of channeling. I'm also going to work on doing some... Um, inviting some guest speakers um, so that that is exciting as well I'm still in the process of making it all happen but I feel really excited and aligned with all of that um, so I'm not doing tarot readings anymore because that's just something that is not really in alignment with my work anymore um, so Stay tuned. You can also subscribe if you want to receive the Spiritual Abundance Kit once it's available. And I love you guys all so much. Thank you for being here um, on this journey with me. I know that I've been fluctuating here and there and, and kind of been on my own journey, but I just... Love you guys so much. I have so much love for all of you. And yeah, please leave a comment and I'll see you on the next one.